Hello everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial about advanced lighting. And I'm going to go over the properties of layers so that you can use them to interact more advanced with lights. So instead of just throwing your light up on there and expecting it to do what just the light does, you can mess with the layers options to uh, show how it interacts with the light. For instance, I created a spotlight here and an ambient light. The ambient light is turned off for now, but I need that there to show you what's going on. Now I've got this vector here, which is a 3D layer and is affected by the lights. So I'm going to twirl down here and come down to the material options. And we have a few options going on here. And quickly I'm going to make sure that my background layer will uh, accept lights or accept shadows so I can show you what's going on. So we're going to twirl to the material options here and accept shadows on. Okay, good. So I needed th that. I should prepare that uh, first, but here we go. We're down in the material options. Now we have cast shadows on for this guy here. Now if I turn my spotlight so that it casts shadows. It's going to cast a shadow on the background. Well, we already knew this, obviously, from the other lighting tutorials. But did you know that if you click on cast shadows, you can set it to only on the uh, image there so that only the shadow is not projected. Now, if you try moving left to right, it's, not, it's only going to go from on and off. For the shadows so you have to click on it to get on to only so there's a way for you to only show the shadow i'm going to turn it i'm just going to turn it to uh off for now now we've got light transmissions here and uh light transmissions here is a uh, an interesting uh parameter here that i can go into more depth into another tutorial but let's uh, t explain what it kind of does here. When you have like a spotlight and it's shooting at your image here, and I'll go into my custom view so we can see. If we get behind um, the image, you can see that it's uh, black. The light isn't passing through, so it's just black. Now if I turn the light transmissions up to 100%, it's going to show on the other side. So if you want and you have a camera animation that goes and shows the back of the object but you want it to still have the light, the light transmission is going on. And you can use this to create some other cool effects that I'll try to go over in uh, another tutorial. So let me go back to my regular view and zoom out a little. So the next parameter that we have here is accept shadows. And now you can do the same thing with as uh, cast shadows. If you click on it, you can go to only or off. So I want to demonstrate to you how only works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. And it created a layer on top. I pressed hold control and press D for duplicate. I'm going to rename this so I know what, what's going on. Um, shadow caster is going to be the name. So I want to make sure that this cast shadows, which is, there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it forward a little bit so it's in between the light and the other uh, um, vector. Scale it down a little. There we go, that's good enough. So we can see it's casting a shadow on to the background there. It's casting a shadow onto the background squish there. So that's how a layer will cast a shadow onto another. And if we click uh, accept shadows and we turn it to only, now you can see how the uh, shadow is uh, portrayed in the back now. So we can turn that back to on. We can turn this little small guy off. 
and just stay messing with this uh, top guy right now. The next parameter that I have here accepts lights. Now, if you don't want it to be uh, affected by the lights, turn it off, and it'll just uh, be at 100% of its color with 100% illuminated, no lights affecting it. And there is no only in accept lights, it's just on or off. 